Hello and welcome back to Marvel Love Alternative. Uh, last time we started questioning everything. The doubts, the doubts, and then good old Shogun girl here. Yui, I think. God, I'm trying to remember her name. She had a... Not the easiest to pronounce name. Uh, uh, decided to tell us about how it's probably because we... You never want to do it yourself. To make a sacrifice yourself is probably the hardest, the hardest thing to do. To be the one to enact it with your own hands. Because you're the one taking something away from another. And that... If you're not a psychopath or sociopath or whatever, will probably be one of the hardest things. Okay, so I know this might be... Yeah, and she basically offered to let me vent about it. So I know this might be uh, sound weird coming from a UN military cadet, but I'm feeling conflicted by what I think is the lack of patriotism, uh, patriotism for my own country. <laughs> I do think I understand why Captain Sugiri would go so far as to cause an uprising in order to bring change to Japan, but I just cannot see why he'd choose to do it now, of all times. To be honest, well, I just feel like there's something much bigger at stake here than all of that. <laughs> Well, exactly what we said a moment ago, Your Highness. We should be focusing all our strength on defeating the Beta. Ah, uh, that's not what I'm trying to say. I... I don't know. I don't feel like it's the sort of thing you can make sweeping generalizations about either. Ah, uh, so frustrating. If only I could tell her everything that's happened. There's nothing wrong about being concerned about Japan's future. But can't it at least wait until we've defeated the Beta? Because if humanity loses, there's not gonna be a future for Japan. Even a five-year-old could understand that. Indeed. And yet, we've still got America and the UN trying to advance their own agenda. At the very least, they're clearly not making much of an effort to genuinely unify humanity against the Beta. you think they'd understand what we're up against here. And yet, none of them are, well, even acknowledging that we're staring total extinction in the face. I can't even imagine what, we're, uh, what losing to the Beta will mean for us as a species. <laughs> I mean, it's not all just hypothetical to them, you know? It's all just hypothetical to them, you know? And that just could And that's just not good enough. They have to understand that we could be defeated at literally any moment unless we take action now. Oh, God damn it. Why is it so hard to get across? No, I don't wanna. Ah, oh, right, sorry. I didn't mean for uh, that to turn into a rant. I guess I've been bottling this up for so long, I kind of went off on a tangent. And yet, she just listened the whole time, even though I'm pretty sure she's still feeling pretty sick. But you know, I'm actually feeling a little bit better now. Never underestimate the value of having someone to vent to. This might be the first time I've felt this sense of release since the timeline reset. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Uh, yeah. Maybe you already know this, but everyone in my squad has some sort of unique baggage. I'm pretty sure uh, sukiyomi san would have told her highness who my squad mates were, but oh well. They're all girls except for me, but every one of them has some sort of connection to this country's national affairs, if not directly. We're all listed in the UN military, but every time uh, I talk to them, I can tell how strongly they feel about their Japanese roots. Like when Maya saw the news about the rescue effort at Mount Tengen, she was furious about the way they ignore the will of the people living there. We got kind of an... We kind of got into an argument about that. Mm. Uh, when this uprising first broke out, I said this wasn't the time for petty and fighting. And someone actually told me I sounded like an American sympathizer. Someone being Suyomi san of course. I guess they felt like I didn't care enough. Like I, was worried about, uh, I wasn't worried about my own country. If Tsukiyomi san thought I was talking like a, a US sympathizer, or that I simply didn't care about Japan's affairs, it's possible that I'd sound that way to any Japanese person in the world, even to my own uh, squad mates. So I started thinking about what might give people that impression of me, and wondering if I could just, I don't know, see the world from a fundamentally different level. Well, you could call it conviction or a set of core beliefs, but I can't tell her about everything I've experienced, so that's probably close enough. Yeah, I think the deep familial ties they have to Japan as a nation might be a big part of why they're so strong. <laughs> you even have to ask. 
I don't think I should divulge everyone's, but... <laughs> you mean she doesn't know? But I thought tsukiyomi san would have... No, wait. I guess if her highness had been briefed on the members of Mayo Squad, she would have known about me already. But well, she's given no uh, indication of that being the case. Was not telling her an intentional move on Tsukiyomi, uh, tsukiyomi san's part? Or did she just not see a reason to, considering there's almost zero likelihood of anything like this ever happening? Yeah, well, uh, you already know about Maya, but... Uh, we've got the daughter, uh, of the UN Undersecretary, Damase, XIJA General Aimine, and even Chief Yori. Yeah. You'd have to be pretty in the know to be aware of that. But I guess that's, uh, this does make sense. She is in the Imperial Balance until just recently. They probably briefed her on all of this. Hmm. I guess she didn't connect the dots as to how her squad tied into it. Well, that's not all, though. I've also got the daughter of the late Prime Minister Sakaki. Yeah, that one's probably gonna hit you hard. Especially if you're gonna be like everyone else and blaming yourself for this. That's genuine shock in her face. Yeah, she really hasn't been told anything about her squad. So, yeah. Since everyone here is tied to the Baku in one way or another, it's been kind of like walking on eggshells around each other. And yet, the squad's still functioning, uh, functioning normally. I think that's got less to do with our military training and more to do with the deep-seated sense of patriotism they all have. Was this really a good idea? I didn't know about Tama or I mean, uh... I don't know about Tama or Aimine's dads, but Her Highness definitely knows Chief Yorui and Prime Minister Sakagi. It can't be easy to know their daughters are out there fighting to protect her. Maybe I shouldn't have brought up Class Rep's dad after all. Was that even... What's that even going to accomplish, other than giving this exhausted woman yet another thing to worry about? Hmm? Um, okay. Well, what's done is done. She's gonna worry about it, and then... Well, she's gonna worry about it. <laughs> oh, she's gonna take it on herself to do something. Everyone. Ah, uh, okay. Why does she want to rally the troops? She isn't planning to apologize to everyone, is she? You know, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, everyone just keeps apologizing and apologizing and apologizing. Um, your highness. I know we're on break, but it might be tricky to gather everyone here, and I'm, I mean, as a cadet, I don't even don't even have the authority to. Yeah, yeah, I can relay the message, but. Okay, understood. I'll get going then. She's not gonna like agree to hand herself over. Get it. I feel as though she might. Ninka. No, you're not. You're just being respectful. Still like that there's 66 uh, tactical battalion. Okay, Tsukiyami san's guarding her highness and Lieutenant uh, Ibisu and Tomoe are patrolling the area, which means that Lieutenant Kimio must be on high alert in, uh, high alert in her TSF. The one missing American surface pilot is probably doing the same. Her Highness did say to gather everyone, but I guess even during a ceasefire, we can't leave ourselves totally defenseless. Su And may everyone's on edge right now. It's not that I can blame them. They may be UN military cadets, but they're still Japanese. See this shogun with their own eyes is like a once in a lifetime experience. Uh maybe not for yeah, maybe. I don't know. Although I didn't think Maya would also volunteer to remain in her TSF. She doesn't want to meet. Is this the whole you can't actually meet thing? Whatever. Mario Chan wouldn't allow it because of her lack of experience, but she did send her out on foot patrol instead. I'm assuming she was being considered of May's relationship with the Shogun. 
I know Maya wants to stay true to her family's customs, but... Couldn't you make an exception at a time like this? It... Ugh. Was that so surprising? Um. Wait, that was surprising. Why was that surprising? I'm, I'm not getting this. I'm missing something. Her Highness is bowing down to the major. Oh. Oh, she is? Oh, okay. Um, oh my goodness. I know this is a crazy situation, but for the Shogun to be lowering your head for an ordinary officer, that's just nuts. That's just that would have been a lot more impactful if I actually saw her bow down and she wasn't just in the same position as every single other time. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, not just the Major, but to all the surface pilots too. This is why she had me summon everyone here. They're exchanging puzzled glances at one another. They must be pretty confused about the situation, but I think they recognize just how meaningful it is for the Shogun to bow her head. <笑>その言葉を賜っただけで十分です。世界秩序と国連協調体制の維持に邁進することは人類社会の一員である我が合衆国に課せられた責務であります。うん。ははは。そして私たちは合衆国に忠誠を誓った軍人。<笑><笑
日本国将軍として心よりの謝意を表しますは身に余る光栄にございます甘いしてかの者たちがそなたの部隊の英子ですねは第二マル七英子訓練部隊所属の六名いずれも日本国籍を持つ訓練兵であります I am、um, Bar Mea 訓練兵でありながらこのような困難な作戦に従事するとはさぞやつらいことでしょう<笑><笑>我が国のこたびの混乱すべてこの夕日の力不足に端を発すること同じ日本人として国を預かる者として心よりお詫びします、oh my. Yep, it's happening. <laughs> I had a hunch she might do this, but bowing to a bunch of cadets really. Oh, she did it again. Cool. So, so neat. Very neat. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, I.、Uh, see, it's, it's not just the sense of nationalism that I lack. I have. Maybe it's, maybe it's unusual, but my sense of authority just does not really extend to positions of power. Like, no, I, like, they're in charge of stuff, but I see leadership. I see positions of authorities as a responsibility, not like a chain of command. Like, okay, not chain, but not like a pyramid of command where you have one person that's definitively above the other, and just because they're in that position, they deserve to be respected, and you have to do all this. Like, I. I That is not something that I personally am able to completely fathom in a way. It's just not like I respect people for doing a good job. I see leadership roles as a necessity, I see them as something to organize and bring people together and make things more efficient and、um, organize and, well, lead people basically. But I don't have the same sense of like inherent, oh, That, like, oh, this person's the president, this person's the shogun. It's like, I need to show them 100% my respect. I, I should, like, put them above me and then, like, bowing to me is this huge sign. Like,、uh, that would. I, I can't understand that, basically. To me, this would just be someone bowing. I'd understand the implications, but this whole, like, <gasps> oh my goodness, I think I would not be like that in this situation. It's hard to explain because it's more. Yeah, I just don't see it in that way, and it's hard to explain because. Yeah, stuff. Everyone's speechless. Not that I can blame them. Like me, they are born and raised in this world of Japan. This sort of thing is practically unheard of. <laughs> hmm? It's okay. さがりなさいつくよみ。ジングジ軍曹。そなたの部下と話をしてもよいでしょうか。はあ。どうかご随意に。そなたのお名前は。はい。坂木千鶴訓練兵です。そうですか。そなた。うん、good first choice, good first choice. あ。坂木コレチカ殿は私の中心でした。常に日本の行く末を案じ、ことに望んでは滅死の精神で奮闘する傑出した政治家であり、大人物でありました。コレチカ殿の生き様には私も学ばせていただくことばかりでした。こたびのご
She isn't letting go. Just watching quietly as Class Rep hangs her head. I... I hope this gives uh, Class Rep some small amount of closure. はい。<laughs> Tom was already in tears just from seeing class rep break down like that. Can't say I'm surprised though. She's still scared that her dad might be one of the the one responsible for all of this. これまで行くたびか我が国を巡る政治的な背景は複雑を極めています。うん。それゆえ、ソナタの父上は往々にして厳しい立場にお立ちになることでしょう。Your Highness。お父上を誇らしく思われていることでしょうね。だからこそ、そなたも国連軍に身を置いているのでありましょう。はい。ありがとうございます、天下。Oh, oh, okay. I was, I was just thinking when he, uh, when she gets to Makoto, it's like, oh shit, is the fact that I know, no, no, she knows the name of Yoroi, so yeah. Sorry, I'm just sort of thinking about how this might blow back in my face, but... <laughs> Phrasing. For me. Hmm. しかしながら今しばらく来られてください。I doubt a little pep talk is going to wipe away all of her uncertainty, even if it is coming from the Shogun, but hopefully she feels at least uh, a little bit better now. She's probably nervous too, but she's certainly not letting it show. Ah, crap, her highness doesn't know that Chief Yori kept his true occupation a secret from Makoto. If she were to find out now, she... Hmm. <laughs> Damn, she knows the cover story, nice. Smooth, smooth. お父上の貿易会社には国内では入手困難となった物品を納めていただいています。I see. So that's the official story, huh? <laughs> Come to think of it, Makoto's dad did say something about him doing contract work overseas. Anyways, damn, her eyes is totally on top of things. That makes sense, though. She might be young, but she is the Shogun, and she probably is way better at keeping track of all these secrets than I am. You want to talk about it later, Makoto? Again. そなたのお父上は職務上、様々な政府の重要施設に出入りするに、上代省しかり、帝都城もまたしかり、さすれば相応の守秘義務を課せられるのは致し方のないこと。そなたのお父上はそれを持っているに過ぎません。あ、はい
That is the ultimate proof that she really knows him. Yeah, this is stepping on eggshells itself, damn. Hmm. Chief Yoroi did come to the base recently, but he never went to visit Makoto. Hell, even today, he could have easily swung by to say hi if he wanted to. Okay, let's be realistic here. As much as the other things could be theoretically even your fault conceptually, this one's not your, this one's not your fault. He could have come visited. My goodness. The guy doesn't know just how much your dad is doing. Hmm. He held the Shogun steel away from the capital and then returned immediately to try and uh, bring the situation under control. And all the while, his daughter was only a few hundred feet away, and he even just went back on his own. Even when he knew it might be the last chance to see her. Her hindsight can't tell Mikoto about any of that, so that's why she apologized the way she did. あの、その、私は国連軍所属ですが、天下の力になれるのであれば、それは私の誇りでもあります。職は違っても、それは父も同じだと思います。神通の至りではありますが、今しばらく来られてください。はい。そなたのお名前は。はい。あやみなけ
なたに心よりの感謝を If General Aimini was her highness's instructor, there's a chance she knows about his、uh, relationship with Captain Sagiri. Would that mean she knows about Captain Sagiri's relationship with Aimine, too? Her highness did seem to be, pretty much、uh, to be gazing pretty intently at Aimine. So, how much does she know? Hmm. Well,、ah, whatever. No point in speculating about her things her highness might have left unsaid. For all I know, she could have just been staring at her like that just to try to gauge her reactions. Aimine is not exactly easy to read, after all. Uh. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Ma'am. What is it? I wonder. Ah, I wonder if she knows about、uh, alternative for it all. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> her Highness clasped my hands in hers. She has such small, delicate hands, and yet they feel like they're encompassing my entire being. I shouldn't be able to feel them through my fortified suit, and you'd think they'd be freezing cold in this weather. Yet somehow they make me feel incredibly warm. Is she just overwhelming me with her sheer dignity? Am I actually feeling awe? Oh, even though I'm not from this world, Japan. Nah, I. I have no idea what that would feel like. I've never, I don't think I've ever really felt that. At least, not to an extent that、um, I would feel encompassed by it in any way. Especially not anywhere near that extent. Wait, 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 what did she say? How that、uh, this will help guide you to the answer you see. Right, right, about patriotism and all. Yeah, yeah. And we never finished our conversation from earlier either. She's saying that I'll have to figure out the rest for myself. Hmm. So after all that, she's still not going to say anything to Maya, huh? Unfortunate. I know she's on patrol, but refusing to even look in her direction is a bit much, don't you think? Not that Maya so much、uh, has glanced at her highness either,、uh, of course. They really are incredible, I guess. A little all is probably justified in retrospect. I don't. I know they don't want everyone finding out the Shogun has a twin sister, but this is the first time they've been anywhere near each other since childhood, right? They're always so concerned about one another, and they might never have a chance like this again, and they're not even gonna make eye contact. Couldn't they just, I don't know, pretend not to know each other or something? I, is there some reason?、Uh, is there really no way for them to get what they both wanted for so long? I get that tradition is important, and I get that Maya's entire purpose in life is to serve as the Shogun's body double, but I mean, given the situation, can't they at least make an exception just this once? Oh my, I don't know. I'm sort of rolling my eyes at this. I guess I'm just not the emotional sort. I'm a bit coldly logical. This sort of stuff doesn't spur me to any further action than I would have otherwise. It just feels like it's trying way too hard at a point. Hey, that's. Oh, are you. Is, is she quoting something specific? Even so, I still wish to protect the people. I wish to defend the very soul of our country that resides in the heart of our people. That's. Right, that's. That does sound familiar. I see. Hmm. I think I understand. When I think about a country, I usually just boil it down to that country's government. But may I see、uh, things totally differently? Oh, I think I get it now. Is that why you said that old woman was important to you? I 
Ah, it's just like what Maya said when we went to save that old woman on Mount Tengen. この思いは全ての人が持っているに違いない。私は<笑><笑> どうか彼の者たちの息だけは遊女していただきたいのです。本来その責めを負うべきはこの私なのですから。Her uh, taking blame is uh, It's just like uh. 私は箱根からこの場所に至る童貞において皆様の思いや決意通説に感じりました。立場を意味する皆様が各々の信ずる者のために戦場に身を置くことは人類の存亡をかけた戦いにおいて尊い行いだありましょう。されど人と人とが相争い骨肉相反もこの戦場ではその尊さも色褪せ空虚な者でしか
I know it would be a very literal interpretation of that, but you don't think she's planning to, you know, kill him. Oh, you mean all of this? Oh, that'd be interesting. Wait a second. Don't tell me, this is what she meant by not hesitating to bloody uh, your own hands. Is this what she hoped she would help uh, guide me to? Uh, is this what she hoped would help guide me to the answers I see? No, oh, no, 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 hang on. What if she literally intends to get blood on her hands? Hmm. Could she be planning to strike down the cap uh, Captain Sagiri herself? That would be a really interesting development. I'm not sure how it would go from there. Would, his, would uh, Sekiri's subordinates actually act against her? What would happen? ま、私は電化の語彙師に賛同申し上げます。ここにお呼んで志を貫く保証など言葉ですが、彼のものを侮っておられるのは少佐です。電化の語彙師は勃脚されるおつもりか。Oh. Okay, seriously, guys. Can you just give it a fucking rest? Oh my goodness, now is not the time to be fighting amongst our. Hmm. されど答弁をよし、証人を求めているのではありませんゆえ、そなたに従うことかないません。どうか許すがよい。おお。で、天下。つくよみ。竹見和地を持て。ははっ。ああ、マイ。あ、sort of you know, walking, we're sort of obligated to keep her safe at this point if she's not willing to come along. We, we need to get her to, your, your uh, mission is to get her to Yokohama Bay safely. And if she dies or gets captured here, then... Mm -hmm. Maya. Ooh, body double. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Maya? You're not gonna... Maya's walking right up to her highness. This is the first time they've seen each other since they were separated at birth. And it's the first time they've been able to meet face to face. And to think, this wouldn't have ever been happening if things haven't gotten so out of hand. Sonata. <gasps> Who do you think? You all look fucking identical, man. Kokuren <laughs> 
<laughs> One way or another, they finally get us used to each other. Whatever the circumstances, this... Well, probably should be a moment worth remembering and stuff, you know? But Maya seems determined not to look up at her. Is that part of the tradition too? They can't even look each other in the eye. So she then can suck you don't go to her. So you got a mix sign of Kagina Kiji to go hide on your head. I'm on the Arkotoa. With a go big Mogosai Masenga. Scassi or Sorenagara, Genko Kanga Mimasni.少佐殿にも一部の利があるのではないかと、召喚は恣意いたします。Would they be able to recognize? Because they do have different hairstyles. Oh, they do look very alike, though. Oh, my. Oh,まあ。おそらく彼の者たちにカンパされる恐れはないと存じます。されど、この身を天下のお役に立てる機会、今を置いて他にございません。何とぞ。That <sighs> phrasing, my goodness. For your life to be of use. Oh my goodness, dude. You've got to be kidding me. Is that really the only way to feel like your life has meaning? Are you implying that your only purpose in life is to serve as a Shogun's body double? <laughs> And yet, I can't rebuke her for it. She's lived her entire life believing that it's the sole reason for ex uh, her existence. I just can't, uh, cannot deny her that. But still. Sonata <sighs>民を慈しみ、国土を育み、そしてそれらを広く深い徳を持って治め導く。それこそが恩民に課せられた第一の責務ではございませんか。うん。今、殿下に万に一つの大事あらば、遠からず帝国は滅びましょう。こたびの騒
Yeah, you just want to get out of here as fast as possible. Yeah, 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 いや。確かに電化が危険にさらされるという最大の問題は回避された。だが私が反対した理由はそれだけではない。説得さえできれば何の問題もないが、それが成功するという確証はない。よって説得が失敗した場合の事前策は強行突破となるが、その状況下では
Okay, but if you leave her here, she's, she's gonna die. Her beliefs aren't going to stop the eruption. That old lady matters to you that much. How can you just let her throw her life away? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, but if she dies... Look, for the record, I, I do get what you're saying, but... And as I said, pro I probably said back when we did this the first time, Samika is gone at the moment, yes. It's just like what happened back at Mount Temgen. Mei didn't see any problem with granting that old woman's death wish, but despite that, she was willing to break military regulations to protect that uh, which the woman held most dear. Yet again, it all comes down to those core beliefs and convictions. I mean, hang on a second. The old lady was at the mercy of the forces of nature, with an impending volcanic eruption threatening uh, that which she held dear. Just like how so many others are at the mercy of the powers beyond their control. What with the alternative program and all the plots to dismantle it threatening that which they do hold dear. And just like how Maya said it didn't matter if she, uh, the old lady died, as long as it was what she wanted. Right now, her highness is preparing a way for the rebels to die, while still taking their wishes into, uh, into account. Could it be that these two incidents seem so similar to me because... Nah, I'm just overthinking things. This world's timeline branched off a long time ago. I'm the one who changed it. Right? By my own... Two hands. Denka, so come on. Hmm. Oh, no, can we check? How did you pack it? Hmm. So, 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 so,電化の安全において優れていると判断したまでです。なるほど。これまでの注意の言動が感情に支配されたものではなかったことは私にとって良いニュースだ。では、少佐。作戦をいかがなさいますかうん。Ah, <笑> oh my, this I mean, none of this would have happened if I hadn't changed the future. Oh my goodness, am I going to start doing it now? Am I going to start doing it now? It's all my fault now. Now that I think that it makes it my responsibility, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Takaru. Being reasonable. But even so, I still, uh, I need to do something to help put an end to this mess. The same way Mei has, and her highness has. If I'm going to speak up, now's my only chance, and it can't be anyone else but me. How do I feel about this plan? Oh my. Oh my. It's a good plan. All things considered. Fuck it. I have to take a risk. Yeah, I support May's plan. I can say confidently, I can confidently say that it's the best choice in this situation. If we can get Captain Sagiri to surrender now, it's all over. This plan's the, uh, the only one that might just prevent further bloodshed. And since we're already strapped for time with Alternative 5 looming on the horizon, it's exactly what we should be aiming for. Which means that's the only plan I can get behind. Obviously, the prospect of Maya being uh, made into a decoy if things go south still bothers me. And if it comes down to it, Maya could very well be the next one to die. But she takes pride in having devoted her life to being the Shogun's body double. To deny her this opportunity would be to, like, say, she lived her entire life for nothing. <sighs> I still think that there's more to life than that. I don't think, like, oh, I'm okay with dying now because I s decided that I'm okay with it because I don't have the will to live at this point. I still think that's sort of stupid. I still think that as long as you're alive, there's more you can do. There's more meaning you can find. There's more stuff you can do to help others at the very least, if not yourself. But in terms of this, it's easily the best plan. I'm not saying... She shouldn't be- I'm not saying she should be sacrificed, I'm not saying she shouldn't be sacrificed, I'm just saying 
It's a risk. And what happens, happens. Well, she does, yeah, 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 entire life for nothing. Any rational person back in my world would try to stop her from doing this, but that would be stopping all over her person, she, uh, the person she truly is. From May's perspective, not being allowed to fulfill that role would be a fate worse than death. Just like how the old lady at Mount Tengen felt about leaving her home. That's not really my con that's not really what I'm thinking here, but I do agree with the plan. If anything, I should be focusing on what I can do to help ensure Maya's safety. Even if she fails to persuade them, they won't do anything to her right away, as long as her cover isn't blown. And from the way she carries herself, why would they even suspect a thing in the first place? Would it even be possible to prove she wasn't the Shogun? Hmm. Maybe Sagiri knows the Shogun well enough? I, I'm curious to ask about that, but I can't. I mean, she's barely even an imposter. The two of them could trade places any time, and we'd be none the wiser. Major, requesting permission to speak. <laughs> I just want to speak, man. At least I'm asking. My goodness. Thank you, sir. I'll take that as a yes, sir. I hereby volunteer myself to escort the Shogun's imposter. <laughs> Maya, back at Mount Sangin, you left me with no choice but to help you. But this time, it'll be different. This time, I'm going to be the one carrying the team. But I'm not just going to let you die out there, either. I'm going to do what you did for the old lady at Mount Tengen and protect the life of someone I hold dear. And so this time, it's your turn, Maya. Trust me with your life, and together we'll help create a brighter future for mankind. Something about me. <laughs> Something about me, eh? Uh, just because we spoke during the mission. Yeah, uh, not to look a gift horse in the mouth, of course. Yeah, sir. First of all, while her highness may have some amount of piloting experience, it would still seem unnatural for her to be approaching the rebels in the TSF of her own under these circumstances. We scrapped the idea of her highness uh, personally ex uh, personally executing the rebels, so there's no reason to use the Taki Mikizuchi for this. Uh, personally, uh, okay. And I don't want to give Maya the chance to try something herself. Maya? Damn it, Maya. If the look on your face couldn't be more obvious, you were so planning to fight the rebels by yourself after all. Well, I am sorry. I'm afraid I can't let that happen. Um, as I was saying, since Her Highness has been riding my TSF this whole time, it would make the most sense to have her imposter ride with me as well, as not raise rebel suspicion. Chances are, they've already guessed that this Shogun was most likely riding in the TSF uh, based on our prior formations, since it would make the uh, and it would make our request meet and uh, it would so it would make our request to meet and negotiate seem a lot more legitimate. And considering what might happen if negotiations should fail, it makes sense to have uh, to have all the actual surface pilots stay back to protect Her Highness and let a cadet like me fill this role. For a bunch of rookies, our squad's done really well so far. Because Sensei's new OS packs quite a bunch. And if Maya and I can just keep the rebels distracted, should at least buy the others enough time to haul ass over to old Shimida, or thereabouts. And in the event we both get captured, the fact that I'm not wearing a cadet's fortified shoot will work to our advantage. Having a ride in a training TSF can be explained as an act of camouflage, but no way in hell are they gonna believe that she was left in the hands of a mere cadet. That's just gonna raid needless suspicion. In addition, my TSS passenger safety belt is already attached and ready to go, so we can move out immediately. Hmm. <sighs> uh, do I? Uh, yes, it looks like I've got him on the ropes. Now to seal the deal. I'm sure that the rebels truly do believe I'm the, uh, they're only acting in Her Highness's best interest. And I also recognize that they didn't start this rebellion just for the sake of it. It's just that... The way they chose to go about it is no way justifiable. However, I'd wager that most Japanese people can relate to their cause, even if they disagree with the actions they took. I'm a UN surface pilot. More than that, I'm a Japanese citizen. And well, that's why I get where they're coming from. I'm lying a little bit. In a sense, they may have already accomplished much of what they wanted, uh, what they were trying to do. Major, there's no perfect way to resolve this conflict, but if we suppress the rebellion by force, it'll only be a matter of time before history repeats itself. <laughs> Furthermore, an intervention by already unpopular US forces will only serve to deepen the animosity already lurking in people's hearts. Major, we just called Japan foolish for staging rebellion in the midst of an ongoing war with the Beta. 
But you have to understand that Japan is on the front lines of that war. People are constantly being pushed to their physical and mental limits by the fear of imminent death. <laughs> and their reverence for Her Highness is one of the greatest reasons they still manage to endure. If she were to send these rebels to their deaths with the help of the U.S. Army, after they've risen up in righteous fury, it would not be long before a similar, but more organized rebellion broke out. And once again, the U.S. Army would be called out. Uh, and once again, the U.S. Army would be called on to snuff them out. <laughs> if that were to happen, who knows how many American lives would be lost? Certainly, far more this time. I can tell you that much. And if the people lose their faith in the Shogun as a result of this incident, there won't be anyone left to stop it. Who knows? It could even compromise the Far East Final Defense Line, marking the beginning of the end for all of mankind. In fact, the end's already begun. You guys just don't know it yet. If Japan were to fall, well, there'd be nothing but the ocean between the Bay and American soil. And that's not much of an obstacle for them. At that point, you can forget about your cost-benefit analysis. The losses will be far too massive to count. And in the end, we'd abandon Earth for a desperate flight to another star system, not even knowing if we'd ev uh, ever make it there alive. Sorry, but I... I just cannot let that happen. I won't. And if we can persuade these rebels, here and now, I'll never have to come to that. Please, sir. You have to let us do this. I did go on a bit much, didn't I? Uh, uh, forgive me, sir. Rab, I got, got all worked up thinking about alternative 5 and let my emotions get the best of me. Please, Major, if you can just send the two of us in my TSF, we can make the sacrifice. Uh, we can keep the sacrifices to a minimum, even in the worst case scenario. <laughs> Please. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's coming back. Oh, of course, he's bringing up that whole Trazalem thing. Yes, sir. I sincerely apologize for that. Shit, why am I not surprised that this is coming back to bite me? No, sir, I would not. No point in beating around the bush, might as well just be honest. Sir, I regret to admit that until just moments ago, I was too afraid to be held accountable for my actions and their consequences. Yeah, just like Yuko Sensei said, I was afraid of getting directly involved in anything that might turn out badly. <laughs> I couldn't even obey Her Highness when she told me to listen to your orders. <laughs> I've been giving it a lot of thought ever since, and... I think it might be because I'm still new to this country, but I don't think I originally felt any emotional involvement in this uprising... Yeah, don't mention that for whatever. Specifically, because I'm not from this world of Japan to begin with. If anything, I felt like it was just another obstacle getting in the way of my objectives. Because I know the future that awaits this world. I was furious that people would even consider fighting amongst themselves at such a crucial time as this, and I thought they were being totally childish. <laughs> but over the course of this operation, I've been exposed to many different viewpoints from the people with very many different backgrounds. And now, I'm not sure what to think anymore. The UN, America, people from the US military, and the IRG. The parents of everyone in Squad 207, Captain Sugiri, Major Walken, Tsukiyomi, and Her Highness. I can understand where everyone's coming from here, but I don't know what to make of it myself. I guess you could say I never really had clear convictions or core beliefs of my own. Yeah, I don't need to say all this, but whatever. In other words, the only thing pushing me forward has been my sense of obligation towards my objective. There's never anything deeper than that. But after all we've been through today, one thing's been made abundantly clear to me today. And I have Her Highness and Maya to thank for that. Well, I may not feel the same convictions or uh, share the same core beliefs. At the end of the day, I'm still a Japanese citizen at heart. In any world and in any timeline, I'm still part of this country. <laughs> and as long as I don't lose sight of that fact, it can serve as the basis to help guide the decisions I make and how I go about achieving my goals. As someone who's seen this country both prosper and be driven to the brink of extinction, 
got a better frame of reference than anyone on some of the stuff. And once I've made those decisions, I will not shy away from getting my hands dirty. I'll accept the outcomes of my actions. I may not be a miracle worker, but if something goes wrong, I'll at least face up to the consequences. If all I did was run away from my problems, I'd be no different from the people who already want to resort to Alternative 5. I'm still figuring this out, but those conclusions convinced me to volunteer, that's all, sir. <laughs> For mankind to win this war, sir. That's the one thing that'll never change. No matter what. Mm. What? No response? I'm being totally serious here, though. <laughs> Atonement? What, for not obeying your orders earlier? No, I'm doing this because I feel it's my duty, sir. Mm. Not only does this plan give Her Highness the best opportunity to escape, it also has a chance of resolving the entire situation, while still taking Her Highness' sympathy for the Rebels and May's wishes into account. It's got a lot going for it. So please, Major, I'm begging you. Ooh. Hmm? No, not however. Damn it. So we should send one more, you're saying, Major? Well, that's good to hear. Sukiyomi-san? I see. She must have been planning to accompany Mayor from the start. Also, I'm going to note, they they do the mouth movements even when they're not on screen. I, I went went I went by that too quickly, and it uh, the camera moved over to her once I switched to the next thing, when she wasn't talking, but her mouth was still moving. They do that. I wonder if they have some sort of system to like match up mouth movements to the actual voices. Hmm. Because that seems like something that was never intended to be seen. I see. She must have been planning that uh, to accompany Maya from the start. Which makes sense, of course. No way in hell she'd ever let Maya go alone. I mean, uh, I'm sure they're aware of the fact that you could see it, but it is a bit much, you know? Oh my. Roger. Hi. ご遺体です <laughs> Should Her Highness be putting on the, uh, uh, the suit, the fortified suit, and using that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi. My re um, Sergeant uh, Jinkyuji. Uh, Jinkyuji, I, I apologize for my unwarranted interruption. Yes, ma'am. Kitchinikaitaramichinikyoikustere. <laughs> Rimo-chan, understood. I was fully prepared to accept the consequences when I spoke on, but I guess I did kind of undermine Rimo-chan's authority. I feel sort of bad about that. Whatever. <laughs> I... Oh, First Lieutenant. <laughs> What's up with her? Why is she staring at me like that? Ah, uh, something wrong. You do not expect this of me. She can shoot me out for that little rant of mine. No, I'm expecting that she's going to do the opposite, isn't she? I'm sure it must have sounded pretty childish. I did kind of let my emotions take control for a while, so there's no shortage of things for her to criticize me for. What? Should I... Hmm? What does she mean? What told me about what? About what? About a relationship to Maya, maybe? Yeah. 
Lieutenant. You're coming with, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Huh. Huh? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my, you just changed your hair, eh? Okay. I think this is probably... This is probably the place I should be ending this at the moment. Oh, this is a good place. This is probably the best place to stop at the moment. Oh, my. What is going... I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, if I were to take a guess, I'd say, man, if we, if I really wanted something, if they really wanted to put something in the story to delay Alternative uh, 4 and me going back to get that stuff, then, yeah, so getting captured would be a pretty good way to do it. I sort of feel as though we're going to start fighting them at some point. It's hard to imagine it not happening. Hmm. Do I have extra weapons just in case Maya needs to fight too? Maybe somewhere to conceal a gun if she needs to. I wonder if I'll participate in the negotiations at all. <sighs> you know, I almost wonder if I went back to Extra and looked for any other signs of Taku showing up. Some weird thing happening. If I could uh, estimate the amount of time after the initial time it happened. And then proceed to um, figure out if I really did come back right away or if I'll, I'm, a, I'm like a long time later or something like that. Okay, that's all I have for today. Drive safely, everyone.